Hi everybody, I wanted to show you how the layering wreath and pine cone stamp set from Hot Off The Press work with the Tim Holtz stamp platform. And so I'm going to take my wreath, which is tinted green because of all the use, I've been using it a lot, and I'm going to place it on the inside lid of the platform. Take some white cardstock, just align the corners there corner and I'm securing that with magnets so that the paper doesn't lift up. I'm going to take a medium ink pad from the yellow and green uh, cat's eye ink pad set that you can find at Paper Wishes. Okay and what I just love about the stamping, stamping platform is I go ahead and stamp my image and then for some reason, if I haven't put enough pressure on the stamp or I haven't inked well enough, if I open it and I'm like, oh, you know what? I think I can do better. I can just close that again without having to try to line it up with my stamping block, which of course is so difficult to do, even if it's a clear block. Okay, I like that better, all right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to clean my stamp, get that fresh ink off there. I'm going to place it directly over my image and I'm just aligning it, not perfectly, but as close as I can. And then I'm going to turn it clockwise just a little bit to offset it. And here's why. I'm going to stamp this wreath again in a different color this time so that my wreath looks even more full and lush than it did with a single stamp. Now it's going to be offset, so there's twice as many pine needles and in two colors. Okay. Once again, put a little pressure on that. There we go. I like that. I'm going to give it one more time. All right, there we go. Okay, now I can use, when I put my berries on, I can use the berry stamp and a red ink pad and put that on my wreath. Or if you want some dimension, you can use, um, this is uh, Tonics Nouveau Crystal Drops in Autumn Red. And I'm going to use this for my berries. And I'm just going to freehand these berries on here like that. Now if you're not comfortable with freehanding the placement of the berries, you could go ahead and stamp them with a red ink pad and then go over those images with the crystal drops and give yourself a little break there. So I'm, I would do that all the way around the wreath, let it dry for about an hour and then um, what I did with this particular wreath is I cut it out. I cut it out around the outside edge, also cut around it on the inside edge um, to make it uh, look like it was hanging from the picket fence on the card. So thanks for joining me and uh, I really encourage you to give both the layering wreath pinecone stamp set and the Tim Holtz stamping platform a try. It just is such a time saver. Thank you.